Peggy 16. The PC project was extremely challenging. It would have been easy to just take what was on the console and just hook a mouse up to it. There are fundamental parts of the game that have to be changed and rethought. We had no sacred cows. We had no things we weren't willing to touch. We had to make sure that it felt and played like a PC game, but still felt like Destiny. We've got people at the studio here. We've got people at DV working on it. They are all PC gamers at heart. We needed to come out swinging and have a product that felt like it belonged on PC. I was both super optimistic and totally terrified. I actually grew up on PC gaming. I had a Commodore 128, and I was in the PC space heavily until Halo. And Bungie is the company that not only pulled me away from PC for a while, but has also brought me back. My job was basically to take the game, the Destiny 2 team built, chunk it down on a whole new platform, and make that amazing. Oh, boy. It's taken a long time for us to get Destiny into the PC gamers' keyboards and mice. What feels amazing on a controller can actually feel intrusive on a mouse. We had to change the look of the mouse cursor and the way that the mouse cursor moved on the screen and the UI elements interacted. The shooting mechanics had to change a lot in a lot of subtle ways that were kind of surprising making sure that when you're aiming your gun, it snaps correctly. When you're shooting, making sure that the recoil feels good, making sure that it, it feels smooth when you're moving from one target to the next. On console, when a gun fires, it kicks. And you may not realize it, but you're constantly fighting that kick with the stick, and you're pushing to try and keep that barrel down where you want it to aim. Well, on PC, that basically translates to picking up your mouse and, and chasing it, and it frankly felt terrible. So you have to, like, Rethink about how you control everything. The team is a group of folks here at Bungie, paired very tightly with another group of folks at Vicarious Visions in Albany. We took two groups of people and we just smashed them together. First, when the PC build gets stood up, you're just like a little turret moving around, and, and all these things that we think make our game feel unique were gone. And so then our partners at VV went on this journey of like, how do you translate that feeling that we know really well on the console, how do we translate that to a totally different input device? We had people on the team who believed it couldn't be done. It's a big challenge figuring out what people were really looking for in that perfect PC game. The first step when you're looking at it is you gotta say nothing sacred. Controls, not sacred. You know, UI, not sacred. Field of view or HDR or sandbox controls. Imagine it's not there. What would you want it to be? We sat down and we went through, okay, here are the things that PC gamers expect. We absolutely have to do this. If we don't, we fail. Things like 4K support, widescreen monitor support. HDR is in there. Uncapping the frame rate so the players could play as fast as their machine could go. Feels like butter when you're moving at a really high frame rate, moving that mouse moving your character around, and be able to do sweeping snapshot 180s. We talked a lot about how fast the player should be able to go left to right. I was very much on the side of keeping uh, preservation of momentum, that core sort of bungee magic of my player. It feels like they're moving through a real world in a real manner. Every little thing matters. We changed the way you change weapons multiple times on this project because it just didn't feel right. And to me, it just really starts with how it feels to acquire targets. Aiming mechanics is really, really important to this game. The approach we took was pretty straightforward. It was play it, see what sucks, and fix it. There were definitely parts where we got it right, we got it wrong, we broke, and we improved. So it, it took some doing, but we definitely got there. The reveal event for us was, was absolutely critical. Today, 
Destiny 2 is coming to the PC. It was a really nerve-wracking moment showing the PC version to the world for the very first time. What we showed was really just a core of the Destiny experience, but with all those PC features. The reveal event was the starting point. We had to either land solidly and show the world, hey, we're here, we mean it, or we would just become another, oh yeah, that game's coming to PC. What I found at E3, because it was open to the public, was how ravenous fans were about playing the PC version. Oh, it's really good. It's running really smoothly. The button layout's looking really good. I mean, it was fantastic. Like, the rain effects, all the explosions. It felt very intuitive and just a lot of fun. I was excited to see other people play it. If they, like, burst into tears because it's awful, like, I'm right there. But if they get super excited about it, you know, I'm right there, too. One of our streamer friends, he's like, hey, just ship that. <laughs> I was like, God, I wish I could. We got a little ways to go, we'll get there. I don't have a lot of idols, but I played the out of Diablo. Going to Battle.net, it was a big deal. I think in a lot of ways, Blizzard and Bungie are kindred spirits. We've both been around making games for about 25 years, and I think it's really awesome to see Destiny 2 alongside those amazing games. I think that being the first non-Blizzard game to ship on that platform is equally challenging and exciting. We needed to make sure that you could invite people on your Blizzard friends list into the game. That's something that we had to build from the ground up. Text chat gives you that ability to hit up somebody who is in another game even. You can whisper and be like, hey Billy, come on over, we're, we're gonna raid. Destiny 2 PC Beta. The beta was a different kind of scary. I think the beta was more nerve-wracking than the reveal event. <laughs> with so much different hardware, who knows what's going to happen with someone that has a card that we haven't tested. But the fact is, we actually didn't find that many huge compatibility issues, and that has been a testament to the work that we put in with our yeah, partners. look at these guys. Literally anybody who was like, we've got a compat lab, we're like, hey, how do we get the game in there? It all needs to be playable across the spectrum of very fancy dual GPU machines with triple monitor setups and HDR, all the way down to someone who's trying to play on the very minimum specification. PC people want to be able to play the way they want to. They love to tinker. They love to customize. Some players want less frame rate for more resolution. Other players actually just want amazing FPS. They want the frames. And that's all they're looking for. After the PC beta, I came in and sat down next to Grant. And I was like, dude, it's playing really well. He just looks at me and he says, like, just flat face, just it's not good enough. I use my own frustration as a threshold and like turns back to his computer to keep working on it. All right, maybe, maybe I'm relentless. Okay, like, I, I carry on. <laughs> you know, like the... <laughs> the passion for PC gaming runs deep inside Bungie. So when the opportunity came to build a PC version, Everybody jumped at the opportunity to do it and do it right. It's Destiny for the first time on PC, so it's a really big moment for us. We built this game thinking about the things that you love because we love them too. Launch isn't the end, right? Like, it, it always keeps going and we always want to keep improving it. I want to hear what the community wants next, because to me that says we did something right. All right, it's go time. Let's show some people.